But welcome and good evening, wonderful dice, all alignments. I am Lunar Yate, and this would have been a let's play of Final Fantasy V. But instead we have the white screen of disappointment. I for some reason I have sound, but, but I, I don't have a screen. I it's just white screen. I don't know why. So uh, either I'll figure out how to make this work at some point in the future, or apparently they're going to release a different version of this game that's actually, because this is supposed to be the old version of Final Fantasy V, and apparently they're supposed to be releasing a new version, which is like updated graphics to some degree. It's like more remastered and extra art, but it's still, you know, stuff that would have been capable on a Super Nintendo. So it's not like, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake level stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm a little disappointed with my white screen of disappointment here, but hey, I can at least tell you guys what I remember of Final Fantasy V. There's a job system that's very complex. I think it came out before Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, your main character in some versions was called Barts, or Butts, or Guts. I was actually going to name my character, like if I had enough room for the characters, I was just going to call my character, his full name would have been Guts from Berserk. And I don't just mean the word Guts, I would actually have the words from Berserk as part of his name. So anytime everyone talked to him, they would address him as Guts from Berserk. Now that being said, I would dare say that Final Fantasy V is the greatest game that I have forgotten. What I mean by that is, I remember this being an amazingly enjoyable experience, a Final Fantasy I would recommend to everyone, that I thought was... I remember there being some sort of water dungeon and stuff with Ice and Shiva that I remember having amazing music to, or something, but I don't quite remember. And that's the thing. All I remember about this game is that I thought it was amazing. I remember playing this game once to completion back when I was a kid, and... I remember there were times where it was a little bit of a pain to get through, but I remember loving this game and finding it amazing. And I was kind of looking forward to living out every otaku's wildest dream. You know, every you know, the living out an otaku's dream. You might say, "What is that? Are you talking about having a big titty cat girl waifu?" And yeah, that is a dream, but. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having an anime or a video game in your past that you find amazing, that you loved playing, an anime that you loved watching, and then to be able to re-watch it and experience it for the first time all over again. And I'd be able to do that with Final Fantasy V, because I remember that I loved playing this game, and I was almost addicted to it as a kid. You know, I only played it one time through. And I know I'd played Final Fantasy 7 and 8 and 9 through like a dozen times. I think something happened in the disc, because I think I played this off of a thing called Final Fantasy Anthology. And back then, it actually had a separate thing with like a music selection where you can actually listen to all the sun. It was amazing. And I'm sorry if the white screen is blinding you! <laughs> but, yeah. I just remember I really, really enjoyed this game. Now, of course, I enjoyed, like, Final Fantasy 4 and 6 quite a bit, too. 1, 2, and 3 were kind of questionable. You know, I'll probably talk about that stuff more at some point in this city of me, where you guys are blinded by the light! <laughs> but, main point is this. I don't remember jack shit about Final Fantasy 5. All I know is I loved playing it, which means I can live that that dream that everyone who enjoys video games or anime longs for. The ability to have a video game that you really enjoyed playing and be able to play it for the first time all over again. But unfortunately, I'm either going to have to figure this out or more than likely I just have to buy the other version even though it feels like a waste I bought this one. But, you know, eh, I don't think there's shit I can do about it. But yeah, 
to be able to play a game again, or watch an anime again for the very first time, as if you had never played it before. The only thing I really remember about Final Fantasy V, other than I really loved it and I thought it was an amazing game, was that the main villain of Final Fantasy V is X-Death. Which, he looks like a giant suit of armor, but in actuality, I remember X-Death as a tree. He's just a really angry tree. It's, he's a tree that just got really angry. I... That, that's the story! Final Fantasy V! The game that introduced to have amazing job system that would later become Final Fantasy Tactics. Has amazing art and pushed a lot of boundaries. But also, your villain is an angry tree. It's just, it's just a really angry tree. It's a tree, and it's angry. It's, that's that's it. But yeah, this is the greatest game I ever forgot. I remember thinking this is an amazing game. I loved playing it, but I don't remember jack shit other than you you fight an angry tree, and it's cool. So, I thought I think this game's amazing. I just don't remember jack shit about it. Other than, you know, Angry Tree. So, I look forward to actually playing this one day. Don't worry, I won't look up a Let's Play and spoil it for myself. Though, if you guys ever get the chance, play the game yourself. It's amazing. Though, I'm disappointed with my white screen of disappointment. So, I'm gonna end this video. I hope everyone is not blind. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful slightly less disappointingly wonderful day. Bye!